getting hit with the FC26 EA app error. You don't have access for Steam or Epic Games launcher use? Don't worry, we have got quick, proven fixes to get you back in the game fast. Let's break it down step by step. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Today we are going to fix FC26 EA app access error. Let's get started. Method 1. Check your EA account ID. The first thing you can do is verify if you are using the correct EA account. So log into myaccount.ea.com and check the basic information from the page that opens. Here, you should see your EA ID. You can check your email account and password. You can also launch the EA app, then click on the hamburger menu, open settings, then select my account, then under my profile, select manage. A browser window should open with your account settings on EA.com from the about me tab and here you should see the preview of your EA account credentials. If the login information seems correct, try to log in with the correct email ID and password and then see if this can fix the error. Method 2. Check your account status. You might want to also check if your account is banned, your membership is alive or not, or if your EA account is deactivated or deleted. Check your email for any mail from ea at the rate e.ea.com for any account ban, lock or suspension. Method 3. Launch the game from Steam or Epic Games. You can also try launching the game from Steam or Epic Games when you are getting error from the EA app. Now check if this could fix the error. If the error persists after performing this method, then go to the next solution. Method 4. Perform EA app recovery. Open the EA app and click on the three horizontal line or the hamburger menu. Click on help, then click on app recovery. Next, click on the clear cache button. Then it should restart the EA app and then try to launch the game. Method 5. Restart the EA app. Open the EA app and click on the three horizontal line menu and select Exit. Next, also open the task manager using Win the search menu. Then head to the processes tab, right click on the EA app and select the end task option. Method 6. Verify the game files. Verifying the game files should fix the problem if there are any missing or corrupted game files. Here is how to verify the game files from Steam. Open the Steam library, right click on the game and expand its properties. Click on install files and select verify integrity of the game files. Wait till the verification process completes. Once the game is verified, relaunch the game and check. Method 7. Launch the game from the game installation folder. If you are playing the game on Steam, open Steam library, right click on the game and select manage. Then click on the browse local files option. This will take you to the game installation folder. From here, select the game exe file and right click on it. Select run as administrator option, then double click on the game exe and launch the game. Method 8. Unlink Steam and EA accounts and then create a new account and link. The next thing you can try is unlink EA and Steam accounts and then create a new account and link that. To do so, go to the connected accounts tab of your EA account setting. Click the unlink button next to your Steam account. You will get a code to verify your identity. Enter the code and select submit. Read the disclaimer and make sure you want to unlink knowing all the risks above. Check the box for I understand and wish to continue. Click on unlink. Then create a new EA account and relink it with your Steam account. Then try to play the game and see if this helps. Method 9. Disable Firewall Firewall can sometimes be overprotective and interfere with the game and cause issues. So disable firewall for the time being, since it is always recommended not to disable firewalls and antivirus as your system is vulnerable to malicious threats without them, enable them soon after. Type Windows Defender Firewall in the Windows search box and select the top option. Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Click on the radio buttons for Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall Not Recommended options. Make sure you do this for both private and the public network settings. Save the changes by clicking on OK. Method 10. Delete Activation 64 dot dll open steam head to the game installation folder open the game folder and there you should find activation 64 dll right click on activation 64 dll and delete it after deleting it verify the game files as shown earlier if you do not find the activation 64 dll you can skip this method and move on to the next steps Method 11. Use Command Prompt. Type CMD in the Windows Search and choose to run Command Prompt as an administrator. Click on Yes from the USC Prompt. Type NetSH Win HTTP pre Reset Proxy in the Elevated Command Prompt window and hit Enter. Once you have executed the command, exit Command Prompt and restart your system. Launch the game. Now initially you may get administrator access error but later on, the game should run smoothly without the error. Method 12. Troubleshoot the graphics drivers. The next thing you should do is troubleshoot your graphics drivers. Right click on the Windows Search button and choose Device Manager. Go to the Display Adapter section and then expand it. Right click on your graphics driver. Select the Update Driver option. Click on the Search Automatically for Drivers option and follow the instructions provided on screen to download and install the latest driver. If updating graphics drivers doesn't work, you can reinstall them. Expand the Display Adapter section and right click on your graphics driver. Click on the Uninstall Device option and follow the on screen instructions to complete the process. After installation of the driver, 
drivers, install them again. For the AMD graphics driver, install the Radeon app, then run it. Similarly, for the NVIDIA graphics drivers, install and run the GeForce experience. You should visit the official websites of your graphics card manufacturer to update your graphics card drivers. These websites are linked in the description below. Download the latest drivers for the graphics card installed on your computer from this website. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Once done, restart your PC, then rerun the app to check for any updates. If any updates are available, download and install them. Method 13. Run the game on a dedicated graphics card. If you have multiple GPUs for your system, then make sure to use the one for gaming as this can tackle the graphics intensive tasks well. So using the dedicated GPU for gaming can also avoid issues while playing games like FC26. So you can follow the method shown here. Check if you are running the dedicated graphics card. There are different other ways to check that, depending on your operating system and the specific card you have. Open device manager using Windows Search. Expand display adapters. You should see two adapters listed here, one for your dedicated graphics card and the one for your integrated integrated graphics card. The dedicated graphics card will have a longer and more specific name than the integrated one. The dedicated graphics card may also have a higher memory size listed. So make sure to run the game with a higher memory size to avoid loading or crashing issues. Method 14 Contact EA Support If the methods shown in this video could not fix the EA Sports FC26 error, then you can reach out to the EA Support for help. You can get in touch with Live Support through the official EA Help site or you can reach out via X, formerly Twitter or Facebook for help as well if you prefer. And that's a wrap on fixing the EAFC26 launch error. If one of these methods worked for you, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more clear-cut tech guides. Drop a comment below to share which fix did the trick, it might help someone else out too. Thanks for watching Silicophilic and we will catch you in the next one.